Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Zach here, and thanks to my review of my Canon PIXMA MX922 hitting 100,000 views, I'm going to be making a review of my new printer. So, uh, just start with the basics. I mean, before we even get into the review, let's just... I, I'm, like, stuttering right now because it's just so hard to believe that I actually hit 100,000 views and getting multiple hundred views on that video per day. Like, it's, it's insane to me that that video is going up that fast. It just means a lot that you guys are all watching my videos. It might just seem like a silly printer review, but to me, it shows that you guys are really supporting me in my YouTube career and what's to come later on. But basically, now let's just get into the review. So let's just put that behind us and continue. So here we have the HP MFP M277 DW. And that is a pretty long name. So in all my inkjet printer reviews, I always said, oh, you can scratch that laser printer off the list. You don't need a laser printer. These inkjet printers are fine. I switched to a laser printer. Now, let me give you the background of why. So, currently, I'm a high school student in the honor roll, and I am printing out so much daily. My brother and sister are getting older, and they're printing out stuff. My mom's printing out shipping labels, whatever. Basically, we have four different people using this printer, or I should say the older printers, and gets to the point where we have to buy new ink every month, month and a half. And while they could keep up, it's just, they were way too expensive to maintain. And so, back in October, we got this printer, which, you know, has toner, so it lasts a lot longer. And it's currently, at the date of this review, April 30th, so it's been over six months with this printer. And there is still toner in inside, and we printed easily multiple reams of paper. So before I actually turn it on, whatever, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. So, and also listen to your advice about not standing in front of the printer. I'm going to do my best. Can't make any promises, really. But right here, you have your paper tray, which has, let me move this down, which holds 150 sheets of paper inside. There's probably almost that much inside now. I kind of wish it was a little more, but honestly, it's good enough. Up here, we have a specialty tray, which is used for feeding a single sheet of paper envelope, especially specialty paper, etc. And then, there we go. Power button, I'm not going to turn it on just yet. Up here, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll zoom in. Right there, there's an NFC tag, which is pretty cool. I've never used it because I have an iPhone now, but if I ever get an Android, or if I have a friend who has an Android, I might test it out or something. But, so yeah, NFC tag. HP logo, I shouldn't need to address that really. This thing, paper thingy, your screen, which is a touch screen. It looks like an Android, even though it doesn't really run Android. But that screen works really well, and I'll show that to you guys in a sec. Moving up here, you have your flatbed scanner and document feeder. Move it up a little bit. There we go. Alright. So, up here, you know, you can adjust it or whatever. Which I find interesting, in a lot of printers you lift up right here to clear jams. On this one, you go from the side and lift up, if I'm not mistaken. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. I was wrong. Haha, ha, just kidding. I was thinking of my Epson printer. You do lift it up right there if you need to remove a jam. And this, this scanner is incredibly fast. I'll address it in a moment. Then, when you lift it up, this is honestly one of my favorite features about this printer. You lift it up, and it stays open. Now, that might not seem like a big deal, but to me, I have... Uh, huge textbooks, and when I say huge, I mean over a thousand pages, and if I want to copy, if I want to photocopy a study guide to write on it or whatever, I, um, it would always be really hard holding the flatbed open while, you know, putting this giant book there and whatever, so it was just kind of too hard and stuff, but now this is actually really easy. It also closes softer, too. That didn't sound very soft, but you get the, uh, you get the gist. You got this thingy right here. And about that scanner, um, my previous HP printer, the MX, not MX, I'm thinking of the Canon, the OfficeJet 8620, uh, that scanner, it was a good printer, but the scanner was not very good. It was kind of, I mean, photocopies were okay, but to the computer, they just appeared sort of lighter than usual. And, uh, I mean, it was still very fast, this one's fast also. And here's the thing about this particular printer, is that it does not do two-sided scanning, which I sort of wish it did, but I never really found myself in a situation where I needed it, except like maybe once or twice where it could have been helpful. But, you know, so it doesn't do two-sided scanning. If you want that, you have to step up to the M477 or M27, I think, if it's black and white, M477 for color. 
but those which are a lot bigger have the uh, the two sided feeder. But also, like I said, they're a lot bigger. This is the world's smallest color MFP laser jet printer, and actually, I have to say, it is pretty small. If I get out my ruler, wherever I put it last, watch, I'm not gonna be able to find it for this one video. <laughs> Yeah, I have no clue where it is. It's not important, but it's about maybe a foot and a half tall, not even quite that tall. But just right before I turn on, I just want to show you one more thing. You change your toner, you see a little, little slit on the side right here. Just pull this door forward, and you grab this little blue lever, and it comes out like that. Then you have your four toners. I'm going to pan it down again. All right. You have your black, your cyan, your magenta, and your yellow. And I'll just pull out, let's just say the yellow, because I think that one's the most full, and I don't want to like, recalibrate all the colors or whatever when I turn it on. But when I pull out the yellow, you can see that these cartridges are really big, and these are the setup cartridges. I think for the, if I'm not mistaken, the color ones come half full, and the black one comes completely full, but I'm not certain on that. Either way, all I know is that they lasted a pretty decent amount of time, and I think for a full set of the extra large ones, which can print over 2,000 pages each, are about $400 total. Alright, now that that's that, um, that's done, we got the overview out of the way, let's turn it on. And if this part's exciting to you, you got some different de definitions of exciting than I do. But you just, there's a power button right here, you would assume that's to turn it on and you would be correct. I'll zoom in on the screen so you can see what's going on. You can sort of hear it making some noise. You see that little white bar? It doesn't really move all the way across. It'll just turn on when, as soon as it's ready. Sometimes it goes all the way across. Yep, see? See, it says initializing. plays Jeopardy theme song. Okay, there we go. So, before I get into the printing, let me just show you what I mean when I'm saying that, I mean, pretty sure I mentioned that the touch screen is like very fluent, very easy to use. I'm not gonna stand in front of it this time. So, as you can see, I'm just making sure that everything's good. But, here's the touch screen. And you swipe, you can see it's very smooth, like not laggy at all. It goes at the exact same time with my finger. And it's, it's like very fast and responsive. Very, uh, like almost like buttery smooth. Like it's over 60 frames per second, if you know how frames per second works. Like when I saw it, I'm like, wow, that is pretty impressive. Because for HP's inkjet printers, like they didn't do as well. Let me just zoom back out here. Just making sure it's in focus. It looks like it might have gone out of focus. I would hate to have an out of focus video. Come on, there you go. Alright. So, that's that. And, oh, you see my pencil sharpener off to the side right there in my remote. Let me just fix that. There you go. So, uh, oh, I also forgot to mention that under the touchscreen there's a USB port. But, as I before I get into the printing, let me just explain some of the specs. I don't remember the exact DPI of the printer off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's like 600, because that's about average laser printer. It prints 19 pages per minute, and I don't know what the exact speed, oh, 19 pages per minute, black and color, I don't know what the exact speed for two-sided it is, but I'm pretty sure it's around 11. But it is really fast for two-sided printing. So for when I do the printing, like there's, as you can see, it goes pretty far back. I'm just gonna lift this right here. It is really meant to get, to access, uh, you know, the bigger documents, I'll just do that so you guys can see. Hello, do not refocus, thank you. But I'll just do that so you guys can see. I currently have the printer connected via USB because our Wi-Fi is... I need to move the device, I don't care. Because our Wi-Fi is really slow, especially over this end of the house. So, to start, where is it? Okay, I'll just print out a research paper. I'll do it, I'll do it single-sided. It's a four-page research paper. All right, and I'm putting this from a Mac on pages, in case you guys were wondering. And two-sided is off, okay, just making sure. Keep in mind, this is coming from not being warmed up at all, so you can see the warm-up time also. 
There's page one, two, three, four. All right. So here it is. Ah, I just hit the microphone. Sorry if that made a really loud noise. So I'm just, I keep turning autofocus back on and off. Like seriously, what's wrong with me? I'm gonna turn it on right now so you guys can just see the sharpness of the text. If it'll even focus this close. Yeah, if I can focus that close. Okay. <sighs> seriously? There you go. You can sort of see. No, like right there. This is the Nat Turner report, this first page. And there's also Harriet Tubman and stuff. It was, uh, this is for English class, believe it or not. We had to do history reports for English class a couple years back or whenever this was. Alright. So we just got, we said that, I'm going to print that same document but two-sided now. When he knows that it starts to get louder, that's when it actually finalizes processing the job and is ready to print. So again, this is the same report. Two-sided. Very sharp, very fast. And obviously it doesn't smear because it's toner. But th with this printer, I had another HP printer at, a, at my dad's house, and that one, uh, the toner ten tended to print out, sort of pa powdery almost, and come out a little bit. When you like rub your fingers against it, this one doesn't have that, which I'm very happy about. So, I feel like they have a, okay, yeah, so here's a PDF I'm going to print. This is from Spanish, so any of you Spanish speakers out there, you guys are going to know what this says, but this is just a PDF. I'm going to print it two-sided. It's about telling the time. I'm only in Spanish one, so forgive me. I barely know any. <laughs> you see how it like, stopped and then got louder? Yeah, that's because it's still processing the job. And now that process the job, it's going to print. Alright. This is a PDF. My teacher printed this out with the uh, printer at school. Focus, please. Thank you. So I printed this out with the printer at school. Then I scanned it in. And then I, now I'm printing it out again. I'm pretty sure it scanned in with this printer also. But as you can see, it's pretty good quality. Back upside down. Alright. And, and I'll do a bit more printing, then I'll do some copying so you can see how the document feeder works. I'm going to show you... Oh, I'm going to print out two photos. Both of which I took with my Canon T6i, which is a really good camera, by the way. I highly recommend it. But... Here's the first photo. This one kind of showcases orange, and the second one sort of showcases blue, showcases blues and purples. I'm gonna just send out both at once. And on my computer, it says it's still sending the data to the printer. Where's the Jeopardy music when you need it? Seriously. There we go. You see, that's what I mean by stop. It'll, it's not ready to actually start printing. It's still processing the data. Come on, you got this. No. Sorry, I'm on my computer right now.
Come on, you got it. A fast printer connected with the USB. Wait, it is connected, right? Yeah, it's connected. Normally it doesn't take this long, but it's a really large photo. So, yeah. Uh. Is this ever going to even print? I mean, really. Normally it does not take this long. I don't know what's going on right, right now at the moment. I'm going to try canceling it, and I'm going to try sending it over the Wi-Fi. Because I have this kind of, I have two versions of the printer on here, basically. One regular, one over the Wi-Fi. So here we go. Let's try printing this one over the Wi-Fi. Now let's try printing this one over the Wi-Fi. Okay, it's according to the, according to the computer, it's looking for the printer. Oh. Okay, now it's disconnected. And so I found the printer. I apologize for all you guys this is taking so long. I did not expect this. Alright, you know what? Here, sometimes, sometimes you get stuck on canceling. I've noticed that with a lot of HP printers, actually. Sometimes what you gotta do, you just gotta unplug it, plug it back in. I'll do some talking in the meantime. Because it, like, sort of jams up the printer. I'm gonna step in front of the printer. I apologize. Whatever the power cable is. Oh, it's right it's on this side. Come on. There, alright. Just gonna turn back on. So I think we're just gonna skip the photos and then go straight to photocopying because of how long this is taking. I'm trying to give me an error message saying that the printer turned off unexpectedly or whatever. Yeah, that's like this one issue. I mean, I don't know if it's the Mac or how it's connected to the Mac or our Wi-Fi or what. Photos take a really long time to process, so I'm actually glad that happened. So you guys can see uh, one fault with this printer. It might not specifically be this printer, but just so you can see uh, how <laughs> that works. So I'm going to take the research paper, that the four-page one that I printed single-sided, and I'm going to move this up a little bit. And I'm going to Shove it in there like that. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the touch screen because I know a lot of you guys complained last time they didn't do a very good job with that. So I'm going to do, go to copy. I'm just going to go to settings, make sure everything's good. Here are your copy settings. You can pause the video at any time. I'm just making my normal quality. Quality. Okay, I don't think I need to do anything else. So, it's an I oh, whoops. Copy. And I'm going to click black. It's insanely fast, this document feeder. There you go, here's the copy. Let me see if I can just do like a copy versus the original sort of thing. The original to the right, copy to the left. 
The text is not as sharp on the left, but keep in mind, I, this is sort of on low qual lower quality mode. Alright, so I'm going to try to send the photos again. In the meantime, while, I am ta while I'm doing that, I'm just going to sort of talk about the printer and uh, give my pros and cons and basically my overall thoughts about it. So, let's start off with the pros. So, for my pros, that it prints insanely fast. Hey, you're not supposed to defocatize or whatever. So, my pros are that it's insanely fast and quality is very, very good. Uh, double sided printing is really fast. And also, let me just talk about the price for a second. The price on this thing is amazing. All the features it gives you, it's a color laser jet printer. It's this small. It's all the all these features. We picked it out at Staples for three hundred and twenty nine dollars, which is very good considering it's a color laser printer to begin with. Remember, oh wow, okay, it's going over Wi-Fi. It's going faster. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Now we know for next time. But uh, so yeah, very good price. Like I said, speed. That was a full color page photo that came out that fast. Speed, quality, size, and volume. That This might surprise you, but you know, sometimes laser printers are very loud. And this one is not that loud. I mean, of course, if it's night or whatever, you know, sound travels throughout the house. Here comes the second photo. Sound will travel throughout the house, and you know, I'll have to keep the door closed or whatever. You know, that's about normal. That's with any printer, really. But this printer, uh, specifically, isn't as loud as many others. Also, uh, this is something. It doesn't get as hot as, as other laser printers. Some laser printers, when they get really hot, you know, they start to get that odor, like things melting and stuff. This one really doesn't, even after I printed really long jobs before. It doesn't really, use, like a lot of times it's really, like, ugh, sorry, you forget it's even working other than you hear it working. But it goes really fast and it prints things really well. And before I go, I'm just going to talk about these photos. So here's, I don't know what the name of this flower is, you can tell me if you know what it is. This photo, oh, it actually looks better on camera than it does on the paper in real life, but uh, in reality, you, see, you can see how it's sort of like more purplish right here. That's sort of more like what the entire flower is like, but in this photo, I think it's just because it's a sample cartridge, so like colors aren't as calibrated or whatever, but it's, this printer is not very good at purples. It's like very either bluish or reddish. But you can see it's still very good quality. I mean, I took it with a very sharp camera, but you can see that... It's like not really, like very crisp and clean. Now here's one that's mostly orange, and it comes out more reddish. Like I said, it's more, it's better at basic colors. But then again, it's not designed to be printing photos. It's more designed to be printing, you know, documents, uh, contracts, all that stuff. It's a laser printer. So here are the two photos. Before I go, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this on my channel, but you know, you can always click to ask for business inquiries or whatever. Um, and for business inquiries, I actually have an email address for that now, which I made about maybe a few months ago. If you want to email me, the email address is zmg2help, as in zmg2help, but I had to shorten it, obviously, so zmg2help at gmail.com. That's for business inquiries only. Any spam or anything will be directly reported. And But I'm there. I've gotten emails from people having questions about printers and stuff before. And if you want to see any of these direct files, I can email them to you. Or if you have any longer questions like how to scan or how to set it up, I can email that to you also. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I give this printer probably a five, actually. Four and a half to five stars because of how quick quiet, smooth it is, how well it runs, all that. It's a very, very good printer. And there's not really many issues with it. You can check on the HP website. It prints really well, very sharp. I hope I really helped some of you guys. Again, I'll answer any questions. Please don't comment about facts, though. I don't know how that works. I don't even have it set up on here because I don't have a phone line in my room. But if you have any other questions, I mean, definitely take a look at this. I, I was at first looking into like a five, $600 Canon printer. When I saw this one, that was so much smaller and easier, can do just as much. It's, you know, this is designed for businesses, but you can use it for home and whatever. So that's basically all I have to say, you know.
I just, I'm just trying to run through my head and thinking about any questions people might have, trying to answer them in this part of the review right here. But, yeah, but also, I'm just going to warn you, it is pretty heavy. It's about 40, 50 pounds, I would say, even though it's small. It's very hard to pick up. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now. But if you're in the market looking for a new color printer, laser or ink, I highly recommend this. But the one thing that's bad about just any laser printer is that you cannot, it's not as versatile as far as its paper forms. Like, you have to buy specifically laser compatible papers and you can't really print on photo paper or whatever. But all in all, very good printer. Highly recommend it. I hope I can get some more views on this one and really help answer questions. This right here is the, is the new HIP printer, and I'm saying that with full confidence in that you can buy this printer, and I guarantee you, you will be happy with it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have.